Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 15 of Samurai Warriors for Empires. And in this episode, we're going to go after Kay since she foolishly broke off the alliance. But that's all right. That is all right. We're going to overwhelm her with sheer might and numbers. And that is the way things are going to go. We can only have about 100 troops. I thought we could have about more than 150, but I'm mistaking this for it's Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires. But 100 seems to be a fair amount. For the most part, we'll be able to take care of everything here. And once we get rid of her and eventually Munashige, we no longer have to worry about the back. We only got to worry about the front. And that's all we're going to have to worry about. But once we take care of K, we no longer have to worry about the South. All we're going to have to worry about is just going up North. So, with that said, I'll take Arrow. And I'm going to get Time. I might as well get Time. I'm going to eventually use the main camp raid. And that's going to probably be saved for the final battle. Oh, most definitely going to be saved. <clears throat> I was thinking about using Lure and Ambushed, but it's not going to be worth it. So, we'll just go on ahead and do a uh, time plus one and we'll be good. That's going to raise the time up to about 15 minutes. 15 minutes is more than enough time to take care of Kay and get rid of her from our kingdom once and for all. So, there are going to be frame rate drops, so that's a bit of a warning right there. And if anybody's angry about that, I apologize. This is as good as it gets. The only reason why I managed to even record this with sound is because of the PS4 remote acting. However, the only thing that really kills me doing this is the internet service and it's not the fact that I have a good internet service or not it's the fact that it doesn't matter what service it is they're going to follow next to the service regardless of how much money you pay them and they can do that because nobody is going to stop them in the government because they're full of crazy bastards so with that said Speaking of a government that is actually going to be good and just, it's time for me to let my rival, or let my subjects, have their little rivalry. And, uh, in this rivalry is pretty much picked up from last part, or should I say, um, it's picked up from the, uh, last... Yeah, that's right, the last part where... Hideyoshi and Tadakatsu were having a uh, contest, and I, no, I know, it wasn't a contest, sorry. It's more along the lines of they both have to take care of officers with Musou attacks. Multi Musou attacks, as a matter of fact. And if they pull off the Multi Musou attack, that will deepen their bond as rivals. Not as enemies, as rivals. There's a big difference. Because rivals, despite the fact that they are fighting amongst themselves, trying to compete with each other, they are pretty much striving to make themselves better. And that's what it is. As opposed to enemies, like with uh, Nene and some of the other people that she ran into, those enemies are basically people who uh, will get stronger, rally, and will come after you no matter what battle you're in. Rivals, on the other hand, they will rally to try to be stronger than you so that they can one-up you. But they're not going to come at you to attack you, no. Their, their rivalry will continue until uh, the game's over with. Until it butts into a friendship, at least, I hope. But, uh, yeah. I also need to, like, raise the affection of most of my troops so that way I can have, like, the four retainers. So that way, I could have these guys 
uh, ask my loyal subjects, and they'll have more control, and I have more directive. I think that's how you get to the last directive to have four retainers. And right now, I'm on the verge of beating the game. Literally, got about maybe two lands of K. We got two lands of K. Two lands from Unashige, and at least five or six of them from Kanbei. And if we beat those, we're pretty much close to winning the game, if not winning the game. And yeah, it is a pretty short game and a pretty short playthrough. Because I practically went through the entirety of this, uh, and we completed an objective, by the way. I went through the entirety of this game without getting any uh, battlefield tactics, and I still managed to conquer three boards of Japan, even though I already had a seven. By randomization, by the way, I had a seven. Uh, I just had a ten territory lead by randomization. And even then, it completed a uh, objective, not, not an objective, but rather an achievement in PSN. So it actually helps <laughs> either way. I was, I, I, I would be glad that I actually got the lucky break that I did, because normally I would end up randomly with only two or three lands, if, if not only one. But by randomization, I ended up with at least 10, and that was the luckiest random draw I ever had. <laughs> so yeah. We're just, we've already conquered them. We've already completely dispensed with them. Dear God! Oh! Damn it, pass me! Why did you do that? No! Uh, that was stupid. That was real stupid. Oh well, we're gonna go to... Wheel it is! And look at my speed! I'm fast as hell! But I gotta say, folks... I have had so much fun so far, despite the problems I've had with my PS4 and the connection to the internet, which is happening right now. <clears throat> See, if I was just playing this, just playing this, on, not recording it for the channel, I wouldn't have all this issue. I would already have beaten this by now. Oh, of course you're a freaking serpent. But we have the upper hand, so screw you. Oh, and look. Of course. The stupid... Ah, I swear. I swear. It just gets worse and worse. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I'm literally just trying to yeah i was trying to make sure that i could get this uh working again and by the way it all froze the thing just just froze right there so thankfully i saved before i continued on on that note where are you going oh right 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 forgot we're going this way and we were supposed to defeat uh, 100 soldiers with the Musao attack. We could do it, but the problem of the matter is, we killed everybody. Okay, charge up your Musao. Oh, snap. Of course enemies are coming my way. Why wouldn't they be? And, oh my god, even with me not controlling anything, I am just completely annihilated everybody. It's over. It is all but over. There is no further resistance K could actually have. And Tadakatsu is just completely destroying people too. And now I'm gonna have to... Oh wait, uh... 
Oh, it's Yukimura! What the hell am I doing? What the hell? I got the wrong person. Why do I have, uh... Hideyoshi? No wonder my, uh... No wonder my gauge wasn't going up. I got the wrong person. It was supposed to be for Yukimura instead of Hideyoshi. I'll fix that. Eventually, they'll have enough loyalty. But I don't think I need to go that far, because from the looks of it... Oh, wait. She's actually got me in dire straits. Oh, I gotta stop that. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I'm gonna have to fail this one, unfortunately. But that's alright. So long as I can save RV Man, well, myself, from being defeated. It's all good. Because, yeah, RV Man was down to half health, and if he would have been killed, oh, or defeated, there went the whole battle. Thankfully, yeah, basically I have to save myself. Yes, I saved my own ass. It's hilarious. Why didn't I choose Yukimura? Oh, right, because the game glitched up because I didn't know if it was Hideyoshi or Yukimura. It's ridiculous. It wasn't the game, actually. It was the internet, but that wasn't the point. Point of the matter is... <clears throat> now, the rivalry between Tadakatsu and Hideyoshi will continue. But more importantly, we now have a total of two daimyo left in Japan to deal with. For now, we'll have peace so I can rebuild my army and re-fortify my strength. And oh, we even got an achievement. But at the exact same time, we are going to finally, finally put an end to Munashige in the next part. Because eventually, his uh, alliance with us is going to run out within three years. And when that does, well, three turns actually, but still. And when that does... It's gonna be all but over for Muneshige, because we're gonna take his land. More importantly, we might as well just go on ahead and cause Muneshige to have some uprisings and revolts. But, we'll do all that off screen. So, when you see us next time, we'll be prepared to destroy Muneshige. This is Argman 985 Peace out, and we are getting close to the end of Samurai Warriors 4 Empires. Thank you all for putting up with me, and take care.